Yes, that was a pod device. <gasps> That's right, people, we are back. I'm still not 100%, still a little bit under the weather, but I'm feeling better. And boy, do we have a doozy to show you today. In my opinion, a bit of a game changer, people. There, I said it, all right? And it came from Smock. That's right, people, today we are taking a look at the Smock Nord Kit. That's right, people, the Smock Nord Kit. And this thing's pretty fucking crazy, man. I'm sure you saw the title already. Mesh sub ohm pod kit. I got one loaded up with some three milligram Max VG. I got the other one loaded up with some 35 milligram Nick Salt with the uh, mouth along coil. And things are going fantastic, people. Before we even get anything, let me just have a tote. <laughs> All right, folks, I I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm pretty excited. Uh, Smock has actually done something really cool here. And I don't see any fucking sense. Oh yeah, I got rid of Mikey. Actually, he's right over here. But I went with the life-size movie replica of the Infinity Gauntlet as the new backdrop piece to go with Guyver. We in here, homie. That's my new setup. All right, anyway. Without dicking around anymore, I just wanted to address that real quick. Let's go ahead and get in this shit. And let's get into it right meow. The Smock Nord Kit is an 1100 Ma 3 mil capacity pod device that comes with a mesh sub ohm coil and a mouth to lung 1.4 ohm coil. They're available in six different colors and they go for about 20 to 30 bucks on the interwebs. All right, folks, let's take a look at packaging real quick here. All right, they let you know right out of the gate mesh. 3 mil 1100 ma 2 coils. I respect that Nord. Let's go ahead and dig in here and see what we got. Oh shit, some silica. We got some silica in the house, y'all. Check me out. All right, we got some manuals and shit. And then we're gonna have our device. All right, a really, really, this may be the smallest motherfucking micro USB to full USB extension connection I've ever seen. Look at that. That is crazy. All right. Um, so you got your two coils in here, and then that's it, people. Uh, I'll explain the rest later. Okay. All right, folks. Let's discuss these tanks. This is the three mil capacity tank, and the way it's plugged is uh, with the coils, which I'll show you both of these guys in a second. That's how you plug it up. Pretty simple. It's got a mouthpiece. Kind of got an angle going in there. Look at that. And uh, you got a little flap here on the side that you can use to fill up with juice. And it's a really generous hole. Heh, <laughs> giggity. But yeah, uh, that's uh, it's, it's really simple on the tank side. Now we need to take a gander at these coils. And the best thing to do, people, is to dive into macro mode. All right, folks, we're going to start with the 1.4 ohm coil. It's a bit slimmer because it's a little standard mouth lung guy. See, it's got a little vertical coil in there. Pretty standard, pretty standard. You can do your Nick salts, your higher nicotine stuff in here. Won't be an issue. Now let's take a look at Big Daddy. Now take a look at this darling. As you can see, bring it back in. It's much larger than the Nord regular. This is the Nord mesh. And if we take a look down off in here, look at that. Look at that, we're gonna see we're gonna see some mesh in there, people. Yeah, it's that weird kind of like squarish rectangle, whatever, but yeah, still mesh, still mesh, and in a little itty bitty pod coil. It's fucking cool. And there's a little plate connector on the bottom, airflow right underneath, and yeah, those are the coils, people. All right, folks, we're going to talk about design and function for a little bit. And man, yeah, these guys are small. I got the white one set up with my Nick Salts. Got this one with my Sub Ohm. And we are rocking. One thing I want to point out first about design and function. Unfortunately, the micro USB port is on the bottom. So you're going to have to lay it on its side, which isn't a super big deal. But one thing cool about the bottom, it's fucking flat. I mean, you can lay them on the side or whatever, but bam, them bitches stand up on their own. I think that's pretty cool. But um, anyway, moving along, let me, let me take a gander at this one. You got a fire button, it lights up. 
and one, two, three, four, five to turn it on and off, as you can see, and now it's off. Uh, and it's just, I mean, it's shaped like a pod, man, but it is thick. I mean, this bitch is thick. It's a real thick pod. It's like a pod that went to Dr. Miami and uh, got some ass and plants. All right, so on the inside, you got your connectors, right? Just chilling. Fucking, they connect with the coil. They just go, and that's how you make a connection. You gotta make sure your coil is pushed in and flat, and then you just fucking, it doesn't matter which way you stick it in, you stick it in and start vaping. And really, man, I mean, they're pretty simple. Uh, design and function, you fucking press the button when you wanna vape it, five clicks on and off, and uh, yeah, that is it, folks. All right, folks, now you've heard all this stuff. We talked about a lot of things. None of that matters because Twisted, how does it vape? And I gotta say, man, I am really, really impressed. The mouth lung is still rowdier than I expected, the 1.4 ohm ceramic coil, but this 0.6 ohm mesh, it's been really, really fucking impressing me, man. <laughs> That's crazy for something this, I mean, you this, this is something so, sm I'm satisfied. Now, even the mouth alone, I got, like I said, I got Nick Soft in here. It's smooth, but it's it's still rowdy. It's got a lot of airflow. Man, as far as performance goes, hold up. <coughs> that one was rough because I'm sick and the Nick Soft. Uh, as far as performance goes, both of them are doing fantastic. Okay, people, we now must discuss pros and cons, okay? And I gotta say, man, for the most part, this bitch is all pros. For one, it's super inexpensive, okay? For two, you're getting a 1.6, uh, 1.4 on mouth lung coil and a 0.6 on mesh coil in the box. I think that's great. Um, three mil capacity on this tank, fucking badass. Um, 1100 mile battery. I mean, they're thicker, they're bigger, sure, but they can stand up on their own, straight up and down. I don't like the port. That's one thing. I don't like the port being on the bottom. You gotta lay it on the side. I mean, it's cool that you can stand it straight up, but when it's charging, it's gotta lay on the side, which shouldn't be a big deal. It's not gonna leak or anything. It's just some people are OCD about stuff like that in there. I don't know. It's a whole thing. Really, that's the only con. Everything else, performance, I think looks, our own point, I mean, it's a little thick, but it's still super small footprint, man. I, I, for the most part, this thing is all pros, man. You really can't beat it for the, for the size, for the price, and for what all comes with it. It's just fantastic, in my opinion. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, fuck me, fuck me. I almost forgot, there's a couple of things I forgot. They got some new shit on their packaging that's like anti-counterfeit stuff. It's like laser S's and stuff for smock, and that's something, uh, that's new. And for two, if you hit the button twice, it shows you where your battery is. Green, you're fully charged. Orange, you're getting lower. Red, you need to charge it. But that's cool. You got a little battery indicator other than it just blinking. You can know whenever you want by pressing the button a couple times. But anyway, that's all the pros and cons. All right, people. All together, in my opinion, uh, Smock secretly. I mean, it was crazy because there was like a month of silence from them, which was weird. They were always coming out with shit all the time, all the time, all the time. They took a step back, then they came back out with that mag revolver kit and then this thing and man uh, i'm glad they took some time and did some stuff because this little mesh thing is fucking awesome i'm very impressed with this you got two options right out of the gate depending on how you want to vape you got plenty of battery you got three mil capacity which is you know a lot for this uh market and i can get a satisfying vape like that from something this small. What a time to be alive, people. Man, five years ago, six years ago, it was, it was a lot different. This is this is great to me. And it, it's so great to me, in fact, that it will now enter the wall of fame. That's right, get up there, Smock Nord kid. You get up there on the wall of fame, damn it, you deserve it. I really, really am impressed with what Smock did here. Now, there's a couple of questions I'm sure people are wondering that I didn't quite mention or go over. This is the final verdict. We have a little bit of free free room to talk. Uh, the coils, not sure how long the mesh are gonna last. I'm, I've been on them for a couple of weeks. I've been vaping these, the mouth, the lung and everything. They both have held up over the last couple of weeks with a couple of refills. Um, so I'm not sure on longevity, but we know 
in the past, mesh has proven to last a while. So you add that to a pocket, fuck me, you're doing great, okay? Another thing, battery life, 1100 ma, 4.2 volts is what it starts at and you know, it decreases as the battery dies. 1100 ma is gonna get you through a day, no problem. And it's so small and discreet, man. I'm, like I said, I really like this. I really like what they've done here. It looks good, it vapes good. And it's not too expensive. Overall, a winner, people. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, all that shit. Links are in the description. You can go look around, take a gander. I don't give a shit. But I told you, and that moving forward has to be worth something, people. It truly does. Thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it. You guys are great. If you like this video, leave me a like. If you dislike it, dislike it, it's whatever. Remember, doesn't matter what the fuck you're vaping on, man. As long as you're not on the gosh darn stinky. That's what's important. Okay, hopefully I'll be well soon. My voice is all fucked up. And last but not least, you stay sexy, YouTube. Me and the Nords, we're out. Vaping saves more lives than smock taking a break and coming back with some good shit.